Gun laws failed to stop Indianapolis FedEx shooter. This is a topic report, and the topic is FedEx Indianapolis shooting. And I'm not really going to get too analytical into this. I just want to get a, <coughs> a sense of exactly how it is that the media is covering the story. I don't know a lot of details of the story yet. And I plan on learning more as I go along here because of my, my sickness that I've had the past few days. I have kind of been out of the news loop and I'm just getting back into it this morning, really. So I'm going to be a little bit more straightforward with this until I find out a lot more details about <coughs> what exactly went on here. So this is uh, from usatoday.com. Gun previously seized from Brandon Hole. I guess that's the alleged shooter. Probably. I mean, you've got to say alleged shooter, I guess, legally, but... I, I'm, I'm under the impression that he's not an alleged suitor, but he is he is white and and youthful and he has uh, short hair. So this is one of those stories that the media will cover all over the place. And uh, also just want to say for the record that if he is who he says he you know, if he is really the shooter, that this is an act of terror. This is a terrorist act. Just so you know. I want to put that out there so all you folks from the quote-unquote left who don't believe that human beings that are not part of your, your version of the left, your authoritarian right-wing version of the left, uh, there's plenty of human beings, I'm not a conservative, but I'm not in your camp, uh, that are willing to identify human beings that happen to be white as being terrorists, even if they're white. So this is from USA Today. The suspected gunman in the mass shooting that left eight people dead in a, at a FedEx building legally purchased the two rifles used in the massacre just months after a shotgun was seized from his own authority set. Let's go a little bit deeper here. Okay, the mayor urges action to stop gun violence, of course. Yeah, yeah, the action to stop. I tell you, when, when you continue, I'm not, this. nobody that did this is justified, but you're going to see more and more violence like this all across the board from all kinds of human beings, be they nut jobs who are, are, are political activists or, or whatever, or religious zealots, whatever it might be, you're going to see more and more shootings in a land in which the state is seeking to try to narrowly define the right and moral conduct for its citizens at increasingly granular levels. It's just always going to happen. The suspected gunman in a mass shooting that left eight people dead at a FedEx building legally purchased the two rifles used in the mass massacre months after a shotgun was seized from his home authority. He said a trace of the two guns revealed that Brandon Scott Hole, 19, legally bought the rifles in July and September last year, police said. Police declined to say whether Hole bought the guns, citing the ongoing investigation. FBI Indianapolis special agent in charge Paul Keenan said Hole's mother contacted law enforcement in March 2020 to report that Hole might try to commit suicide by cop. Records show that the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department conducted a mental health check and list Hole as being arrested. The report says police seized a, sock, uh, seized a shotgun from, quote, from a dangerous person. So the red flag laws didn't work. I don't know if they, they used a red flag law in Indianapolis or not. But uh, again, I don't know enough about the details. So I, I think that's, that's how I read this. It could be wrong there. Let's get some other headlines from this story. We have... FedEx shooter Brandon Hole was obsessed with My Little Pony from Fox News. This, listen, I, I'm just going to say it doesn't really matter to me if you're a nut job, if you're if you're completely insane and you shot people because you're completely insane because you, you heard people voices in your head. That's a, you're still a terrorist. It's still an act of terror. <laughs> and again, I don't know the details, so I don't know fact from fiction here. Remember, these are news outlets. So these are corporal, corporate nationalist owned, including Fox News, news outlets. So like Fox News would have a vested interest to serve its particular group to paint Brandon Hall as just uh, an insane person <coughs> and not some sort of terrorist, like in the more linear, direct sense of the term. The teen who shot up an Indianapolis FedEx facility and killed eight people was reportedly part of a bizarre internet subculture <coughs> obsessed with My Little Pony. Post on Brandon Hall's since taken down Facebook page appeared to indicate he was a member of the Bronies community, a group of mostly adult men who were extreme fans of the kiddies, toys, and animated television show. Why would he target Sikhs? I don't get that. It seemed like he targeted, targeted Sikhs from what I said, but I don't know. So there's that. 
Then we have Chuck Todd wanting to stop shootings as a problem on the Republican side of the aisle. This is from Newsbusters.com. So Chuck Todd saying that... Uh, so the Republicans are allegedly, you know, the demonization of the other side is the reason that Republicans are standing up against gun control is because they don't want to stop the shooting. Like, they want the shooting. Pretty sick. <clears throat> pretty disgusting, pretty disturbing. But there you have it. <clears throat> and then we have... Well, I think that's all I'm going to do here. Uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. Yeah, well, uh, globalnews.ca, FedEx shooting suspect, legally bought guns. Seek community. Seek community. I'm so disappointed in you. Seek community calls for U.S. gun reforms after FedEx shooting. So is the Seek, is that really the Seek community or is that just the the authoritarian right-left version? I'm going to call it, you know, that's what you should call the quote-unquote left, the authoritarian right-left, because they're right wing first and foremost they just used leftist words but they're essentially right wingers so is this just the authoritarian right left wing of the Sikh community that they just find I don't know I don't know uh, but anyway if it is the whole Sikh, Sikh community I mean it's not the whole but if it's uh, if it re really represents a majority of the Sikh community be careful what you wish for if you want to continue to have religious freedom in America you will support the Bill of Rights come hell or high water otherwise none of us will be free and I'll end it there.